In this video, we'll create a full screen video landing page. So let's take a look at it here before we get started. As you can see, we have a video in the background and it's gonna take up 100% of the height and 100% of the width. We have some paragraph text underneath to emphasize that as well as our heading one, heading three, and then the start here button overlaying on top of the video. In the description of this video will be the full screen landing page starter files where we have the mac.mp4 video as well as index.html and style.css. I'm going to be using the free program called Sublime Text as my text editor which you can get from sublimetext.com and then I'm going to be editing and viewing uh, the HTML in Google Chrome as my web browser. So once you open up the starter files make sure you have index.html and style.css open in your text editor and then we can go ahead and get started with our first tag. Okay so just above the paragraph that's included for us let's go ahead and create a section class here in the body. So we're gonna call this section class wrapper and then you can close off the section tag and then within that we'll create a div class that we'll call video wrap. So div class video dash wrap and then I'm going to drop down to close out this div or divider and then we can reference the actual video file. So video source mac.mp4 for the video in the starter files. Then we'll want it to play automatically so we'll say autoplay and then loop so it loops continuously and then we can close out our video tag. All right. So now if we refresh the starter file version that we're working on here, there we have our video playing and we have the paragraph text underneath. So let's lay out the next div here with div class overlay and then you can close out that div. That will be for the color overlaying on top of the video. All right, so let's do another div class underneath that and we're gonna call this landing dash text where we'll include our heading one, heading three, and the button, which will go on top of the video as we see here. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with our heading one. I'm just gonna write video landing page, and then I'll drop down and add the heading three and say full screen video background and underneath that I'll create the link for our button with ahref. I'm just going to do a pound symbol or hashtag to keep us on the same page instead of a URL and then we'll make it class btn for button and then I'll just write start here inside of the a tag. Okay so now if we take a look at the version we're working on we'll have our heading 1, heading 3 and then the link down there which will turn into the green button. Alright so let's move over to style.css where we have a Google font imported for us already with open sans up there and let's style the body of the website first and just give it the font family open sans and then we'll also do a fallback font sans serif. Okay, and then you can go ahead and drop down underneath that. And we'll see that our text style has now changed to Open Sans, which has a nice, soft, rounded feel to it. And now let's drop down and style our section tag. So we're going to give this a max width of 50%. We'll say Margin Auto. And then Text Align center. So what this is going to do is it's going to center our uh, our landing text basically and then later we're going to put it on top of the video. Alright so now let's move on to our wrapper class so dot wrapper use the period there since it's a class rather than an ID. We'll go with height 100 VH display flex and now if we refresh, we'll have the text appearing off to the right. And then align items center 
and color white, or the hex value FFF. All right, so now if we refresh and look to the right of the video, there we have our text. We'll just have to highlight it to see that it's white for now before we lay it on top of the video. Now let's drop down to the div class video dash wrap. So write dot video wrap. And then we'll say position absolute and top zero and left zero. So we want absolute positioning on the video all the way up to the top left. So now we have zero space to the top left. And then height and width 100%. This is important in case your video doesn't take up the whole screen. Okay, so now it's fitting pretty nicely. And then overflow hidden in case it's still off the screen. All right, and then just in case it's too small, as you can see, the video doesn't take up the whole uh, height. We'll go with video wrap video, and then minimum width and minimum height 100%. Okay, so now we have the video displaying as a full screen landing page. The next thing that we'll do is let's go ahead and add the blue color overlay with the overlay class. So dot overlay. We'll give it a Z index of one because we want it displaying on top of the video. We'll give it a height and width of 100%. And then top zero and left zero to push it all the way up to the upper left. And then let's add the background color. So the blue hex value is 1F6A9A. Okay, so now if we refresh, it's just kind of sitting in the center here. So what we'll want to do is say position absolute to send it up to the upper left hand side and to cover the screen. Then the last thing that we'll do is just add some opacity here. So opacity 0.8. All right, so now we see the video with the blue overlay looking pretty nice. Uh, the next thing that we can do is drop down and style our landing text. So the only thing that we're going to do with this class is give it some Z index to make sure that our landing text is on top of the video and the color overlay with Z index 2. So there we have our text displaying on top of the video and the, the blue background or blue color. And let's just give our heading one a different font weight. We'll make it pretty heavy at 700. We'll change the font size to 380%. And that looks pretty good, just like the original. So we can drop down to our heading three and let's change the font size to 230% and font weight 400 to make it lighter than the H1. And let's close the space in between the heading one and heading three here. Make it a little bit less space above, a little bit more space beneath. So let's say margin top negative 4% rather than messing with the line height, and then padding bottom, 3%. Okay, so let's refresh, and now we have it looking pretty sleek and with good spacing like the original. So let's move down to our class BTN for the button. So write dot BTN, open and close. Let's take away the underline from the link with text decoration none. And then let's give it the color of white with FFF. And then let's give it its font size 150%, make it a bit larger here. And now we can add the background color. So background, the green hex value 23, 
a f five f and now we just have a little bit of background so what we'll do is we'll create some padding over the top of of the text there with top bottom two percent left to right four percent with the padding and the last thing that we'll do is just add a little bit of border radius here to make the edges softer so border, border radius five pixels okay so now we have rounded borders to our button and let's also add a hover effect here so btn colon hover and let's go with a background color that's a little bit darker green shade with 1c8e4d as the hex value so now when we hover over it's going to turn into a darker shade here and the last thing that we'll do is let's just increase the paragraph font size underneath and give it some padding around the edges of the paragraph itself with 3%. All right, so that does it. Let's take a look at the finished version. I want to thank you for sticking around with me through this tutorial. Please remember to like this video and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.